One of the first things we learn about when we start using Unity is the debug log functionality. But what we don't get told is how we can change those logs to make them stand out and to make them a little bit more helpful. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Well, the first thing we can do is if the message is coming from a component, we could actually tell Unity which component it's coming from. And we can do that by just adding the this parameter next. And what this does is if we come back into Unity, it gives us the ability to press on a message and find out where it's coming from. For instance, this is the first message which doesn't have a link. This is the next message that does. And you see that in the hierarchy, it actually selected the item, it highlighted it for us. So again, there we go. It highlights the item in the hierarchy for us to know where that message has come from. So what else can we do? Well, we can use rich text to make our messages stand out more. We could make them bold, for instance, by using the bold tag. Or we could change the size of part of the message. So for instance here, I'll put in size 20 and then close that tag. And now if I come back into Unity, we can see that now our message is nice and big and bold. Obviously, you don't want to make it too big. I'm just trying to show you what you can do with this rich text. The other thing is to color our text. So let's say we've got our message again. We'll copy and paste that down here. And we want to actually give this some color. So we can come in here and we say color is red. And we'll close up the color there. And we'll say this is possibly for an error. So this is an error message. There we go. So now I save, come back to the Unity. And now we have a nice red message coming through from using that color tag. So what's a good example of where we might want to use this? Well, let's say we had an analytics class. And I'm just going to make a static method here, but you would obviously use a service pattern or something like that. Well, when you're pumping out analytics, you'll probably want to debug that your actual analytics are working correctly. And what you could do is you could color code those in your debug log to know that that's an analytics statement and to see that it's putting out the right statement. So what would I do here? Well, I would start with the debug log, as you can imagine, and this would actually pump out the entry that I'm going to send it. And then in here, I'll just test this by going in analytics.log and this, oh, can't spell, this event happened. There you go. So how would we color code this? Well, we wouldn't want it to be red or anything like that because that would be too prominent. We want it to be close to the white that we usually get, but just denote itself a little bit more. Plus, we probably don't want to actually change the entry that's coming through. We just want to put in the title of this analytics to say, yeah, this is an analytics statement. And we can use all the little functionality, all the rich text that we saw above to actually set that up. So here, we'll put in the title analytics, a little colon, and then we'll close out our tags. So the size, the bold, and the color. There we go. So now if I save and come back into Unity, I can clearly see from the color coding in my debug log that my analytics events are firing at the correct time they should be.